Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Money Matters. I'm George Chamberlain. Coming up on today's show, we'll look back at the great year on Wall Street in 2013 and the stumbling start this year. Also, many baby boomers are making a decision about where they want to live in retirement. I'll tell you why many of them are looking south of the border. But first, California Governor Jerry Brown has declared... Welcome back, everybody. You know, high home prices here in San Diego County have made it a tough place for many people to retire. That's why some are looking at Baja, California, and other Mexican locations as a great place to live. Here to discuss this is Larry French. Larry's a realtor who specializes in properties across the border. And George Holagowski, a gentleman who's worked in San Diego County financial uh, community for a long time, now as an uh, equity investor, uh, is very much involved in a lot of different types of areas and activities. Good to see you both. Thanks for being here. Nice to see you again, George. Thanks, you again, thanks. George. Larry, let's talk a little bit about real estate in Baja, Rosarita, and Sonata, that, that environment there. This has been a popular destination for a lot of people for a long time, but if you could just touch on the rules of ownership, and then very quickly, some possible changes that could be coming. Right, yeah. Um, you know, there's been a uh, common misconception in the past that you held property through a 99-year lease, which actually is not even legal, right? Le leases are only legal for 9.99 years. So the secure way to hold property is through a vehicle that many of us hold our property in the U.S., uh, a fideicomiso, which is basically identical to a family trust. Okay. And the process to acquire one, we have escrow and title companies and uh, mm -hmm. title insurance and financing. We have all the same things. It's just a matter of uh, if you're going to acquire a property, probably the most important thing to do is get a great agent Sure. and then, and then follow the process. Don't do things you wouldn't do in the U.S. And now we're looking at a possible change coming where there could possibly be direct ownership, right? Yeah, there's some very exciting uh, economic reforms. The current president of Mexico has implemented a, a comprehensive package of economic reforms. And part of that is a constitutional amendment that will take away the requirement to hold those properties in the protected zone. You know, you can hold property anywhere else in Mexico. It's just along the coast, along the sure, border, sure. that you have to use this trust vehicle. Okay. And that, that this is going to uh, take away that requirement and make it so that fee simple ownership across the board mm -hmm. in Mexico for anybody, it will generate a lot more investment. Well, no, by the end of the year, you think? Yeah, currently it's in the legislative process. It's passed the House, their, their version of the House. It goes to the Senate sometime in the next six months. After that, it's expected to be passed by the President and ratified by two-thirds of the states. It's part of that bipartisan package that they're trying to push along. Sure, so, sure. Very exciting. It's generated a lot of interest in the real estate community. George, I've known you for a long time. Yes, you Good have. to see you again. And, uh, and of course, San Diego is still home for you, but you're now also a, a resident of Baja. Uh, what opted you to, to think about spending some time down there? Well, for, first and foremost, I went through a very difficult period of my life with the financial crisis, if you might remember that. Sure, of course. And I needed a retreat, basically, to get away and, and, and to travel to very quickly. I live in Rancho Santa Fe, so the time it takes me to get from that particular home to my beach house in Mexico is all of an hour 15 minutes. Mm. And it was just an unbelievably compelling investment value to the magnitude of at a zero for buying the same property here in the United States. Sure. I'm literally where Larry actually uh, found my ideal property, point to point nautically from Point Loma to Point Calafia. House is literally about 60 yards set back from a private wow. beach. Wow. And has an unbelievable view of the California coastline. And um, I think, Larry, would that be an accurate statement to say that it would cost me 10 times more to acquire oh, that property? Oh, I'm sure you guys could it's modern, brand Coronado, brand La Jolla, anywhere like that. Amazing, yeah. and, and they are equivalent types of resorts. They're mm -hmm. private communities on the ocean front with private beaches and amenities and high, high security also. High security, yeah. All right, well, let's stay with that security thing for a second, George, and talk about the perception that has uh, has been for some time that crime levels are very high down there, even though it's, it's really uh, been uh, not so much in the news lately. The situation has improved dramatically. Uh, was that a concern for you? Well, I researched that quite a bit. First of all, because of, of who I was in San Diego, obviously, um, I didn't want that profile down there for obvious reasons. Uh -huh. However, um, I, I have to tell you that in the three and a half years I've acquired this property, I have talked to every expat that is a neighbor of mine, mm -hmm. or for that matter, the governor, former governor of Illinois who lives in Larry's complex. Nobody has ever encountered any violence, any crime, any property crime, or anything like that that, that, that is known to me. Mm -hmm. um, the security issue, obviously, there are dangerous places in, in Los Angeles, Santa Ana, San Diego. Of course. You just don't go to those places. There you go. And you use common sense. Um, but 
but I think the, the, the security thing is way overblown. I don't feel any fear whatsoever. Actually, I feel a sense of freedom when I'm down there that I quite don't have up here. Now, Larry, you live down there. You have a child going to school down there, right? Yeah, as I've mentioned before, I've, I've lived there for seven years um, with my, my wife, who's a great guy, and, uh, and my daughter. You know, and, and uh, even with limited language capability, we, we never feel unsafe. We've never been in an unsafe situation. I feel very comfortable sending my daughter to school. You know, the schools are very safe and sure. beautiful schools that she goes to. So, yeah, uh, you know, for us, it's uh, not a big deal. But you know, the, the real compelling story here is the economic value, because you're talking about potential people that wish to sure. retire. Sure. Well, it, it's amazing, because let's say that, that many Americans have not acquitted for their retirement properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 401ks are short. They have Social Security income potentially in the future. Let's say you lived in Lakeside or Santee or Al Cajon. You worked all your life, and you amassed a home for 30 years. You paid off that mortgage. And that house is worth three hundred thousand dollars. Huh. You could continue to retire and live there, or you could move literally to La Jolla. Interesting. Um, right on just the on the other side of the border, with a quality of lifestyle that you could never. I've got you one other thing, real quick. We right. have a, a short time left. Uh, you say it took an hour or fifteen to get from Rancho Santa Fe to your home in in Baja. Right. It takes a lot more than that to get back, and we've just got a few seconds here, Larry. So, what are we doing about improving the border crossing? Yeah. Well, the border crossing itself is going through a big renovation, and that will reduce the amount of time it takes to get across. But there's other options now, like the Ready Pass. If you have a yep. a chip uh, identified card, a passport card, you can get through a quicker lane. Mm -hmm. If you have a Sentry card. It takes me about 10 minutes. Wow. I, I, I have a century card. There you go. You know, Very much worthwhile. Guys, thanks for coming in and talking about this because I, I love this story and I think we're going to see a lot more of it in the future. Great. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Good to see you both. Thanks, thanks a lot. Okay, stay with us because we're going to have details coming up for the next edition of Money Matters.